How long does a merch by Amazon listing take you to create? 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, how long? I hear some people take over an hour to create a merch by Amazon listing. If they're trying to be perfectionists, of course. What if I could tell you that you could create a merch by Amazon listing that converts and captures the buyer's attention in a couple of seconds using AI. How much time would that save you? And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. In fact, I'm gonna show you a way that you could find the best profitable keywords and create a listing using those keywords in less than five minutes using AI. This is unheard of guys. So sit back and relax and let me show you how it's done. So I'm gonna be using Merch Dominator for this and we've created the AI listing creator completely brand new tool out of the box. Now we have the listing creator, the AI listing creator. You can also save your listings and save the prompts. Guys, what you're about to witness is completely unheard of right now in any print on demand research tool. And you're about to see it here first on Merch Dominator. So how does this work guys? Well, first, you're able to create your prompts. And basically you can enter your prompts in any of these boxes, like the title, the brand, the bullets, and the description. So for the title, I'm going to click on this auto fill and I'm able to see the prompt and I can just click on add. I've already added my prompt. Now, how can we create prompt? We just go to save prompt and we enter our prompt and then we save. When we save our prompts, they will show over here. We can edit them or delete them. Now that we know how this first bit works, I'm going going to find the keywords guys. How do we find the keywords? Very easy stuff. There are plenty of ways. You've got product search, you've got keyword trends, you've got keyword suggestions, you have keyword analysis, live Amazon related keywords and also live Amazon suggestions. So plenty of ways that you can find really really good profitable keywords that are on demand right now. You also have inside of each listing in the bestseller or seller trends you're able to see the keywords that that particular design is using. So you can maybe steal their keywords. Hey, why not? But for this method, I'm going to show you one. And then obviously you can use your imagination and be creative. So let's say we're trying to create a Cinco de Mayo kind of design, right? And we want to make a listing for Cinco de Mayo. I'm going to search for the keyword Cinco de Mayo and click on search. So these are the best related keywords to Cinco de Mayo that Amazon has suggested to us. And this is all done live, guys. All these keywords are actually promoted by Amazon and kind of pushed by Amazon. We've got burrito costume, cactus balloon, Cinco de Mayo, right? So if we just eliminate the duplicates, we're able to get so many keywords inside of our listings. And what you're about to witness, guys, is absolutely insane. Obviously, you're able to click on load search volume and you can check out the search volume for every single one of these keywords, just like that. And you're able to see the cost per click, the trend, competition, etc. You can click on the trend and check out the 12 month trend and you can see the average three months, six months, 12 months, etc., etc. There's plenty of other stuff like you can check out all these keywords in the first page of Amazon or third page. This is ridiculous, guys. But, you know, I'm just showing you guys you know, different ways of, you know, finding data that is actually real data, not like other tools where they show you stuff from like last year or something. So at the moment, it says 8000 in the first page. So let's check in Amazon if there's 8000 in the first page. There you go. 8000 in the first page. So it's all live taken from Amazon. This this is Google Trends, etc. Anyway, this is not what we're here for. Now we want to extract all these keywords, right? So how do we do it? We just click on export, click on copy. We copied all these keywords. Now we go to another module called Keyword Processor. As you can see, guys, I've opened all these modules in their individual tabs so that I can go back and forth and do whatever I want. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paste all these keywords, right? Check this out. And then I'm going to click on add commas with space and then remove duplicates and then remove single letters just like that we're left with all of these keywords that we're going to feed the ai and then the ai will create a listing out of it check this out guys so i'm going to then click on autofill so i can enter my prompt or you can enter your own prompt it doesn't matter. But I'm going to use the autofill because I've already created my prompt. Pretty easy. So generate a merch by Amazon t-shirt title using these keywords. Click on add and then I'm going to paste my keywords, right? 
Now, I'm not going to use all these keywords. This is too much, guys, for a title. And also for the title and the brand, I'd suggest you come up with your own title and brand. Just copy the bestseller or use the most important keywords in that uh, kind of niche. So, for example, if you're trying to create a title for Cinco de Mayo, you can use the most important keywords like Cinco de Mayo, Fiesta, Mexican Party, Sombrero, that kind of thing, right? Again, depending on the kind of design that you're going for. But I'm going to show you for all of them and then obviously you can see how it works but like I said for the title and brand I would personally create my own this is more useful for the bullets and description because they're the ones that take a longer kind of time to create the title people usually just copy and paste it from the bestseller especially if that bestseller is actually showing in the Amazon suggestions right here's another tip for you I'm going to keep burrito I'm going to keep costume keep cactus I'm going to remove balloon I'm going to keep Cinco de Mayo I'm just going to remove the commas I'm going to keep women. I'm going to add men, adults, boys, girls, kids, teens. I'm going to remove decorations. I mean, you could keep it. It doesn't matter. Amazon won't reject you for that. I'm going to keep party. That's important. Favors. I'm going to remove it remove shirts i'm gonna keep fiesta i'm gonna add let's fiesta like that i'm gonna remove backdrop yeah remove all this stuff maybe keep holiday i'm gonna keep mexican an outfit i'm gonna keep sombrero keep poncho as well remove all this stuff yeah maybe keep hombre mexicanos yeah why not fiestas i'm gonna keep taco maybe leave pinata as well all right there you go these are my keywords so i'm gonna copy these keywords guys all right these are the keywords i'm gonna be using for everything and i think these keywords are pretty good I mean, you could still add some more stuff, but I think this is pretty good. We could even add squad to go with Fiesta squad. I think that's enough, to be honest. Let's not overdo it. And I'm going to copy these keywords right here, right? Perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing for the brand to so autofill. Again, I've generated a prompt for the brand generated merch by Amazon t-shirt brand using these keywords. Click on add. It's basically saved in prompt and you can save whatever prompts you want and then do the same thing for bullets and then the same thing for the description. Boom. And then I'm going to click on submit. Now watch this guys. Two, three seconds. It's going to generate us title, brand, bullets and description. Done guys right so we've got the title we've got the brand but like i said um for the title on brand just use your own title and brand because you're going to be able to enter all of the keywords however you like right we're not going to give the ai the uh, the control to actually create our title and brand now with the bullets now watch how beautifully it created our you know bullet points i have not read this because obviously it creates new bullet points and new descriptions every single time you send the request so let's check this out let's fiesta celebrate cinco de mayo in style with this fun burrito costume for women men Bo uh, adults boys girls kids and teens perfect for a party or holiday outfit this mexican inspired ensemble includes a sombrero poncho and hombre for a complete fiesta uh, look for a complete fiesta look brilliant right and you can regenerate if you're not happy with the bullets right or any other element so you can regenerate the description the title the brand the bullets whatever you want let's check out the second one join the fiesta squad get ready for cinco de mayo with this festive mexican inspired outfit for men women adults boys girls kids and teens featuring a taco piñata sombrero and a poncho this one costume is perfect for a party or holiday. Celebrate with the fiestas and let's fiesta. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. How long did it take? Three seconds. Description. Celebrate Cinco de Mayo in style with this fun and festive burrito costume. Perfect for adults, kids, boys, girls, and teens. This outfit is sure to make you the life of the party. Let's fiesta with the fiesta squad in this Mexican-inspired ensemble. The sombrero, poncho, and hombre design will have a feeling like true mexicanos perfect for fiestas tacos and piñatas this costume is sure to be a hit so grab your friends and join the fiesta squad in this fun and festive burrito costume let's fiesta guys we have trained this ai to actually give you an output that is very very close to a human if not like a human has written it and also for print on demand and most importantly for merch by amazon it's like you've written it i would say it's better than most of the listings on merch by amazon and it took like three seconds beautiful now that you've got all of this stuff what you have to do is you have to figure out if there's anything that you should not have there for example some copyrighted stuff some trademark stuff and maybe you know the keyword gift or sizes or some, something like that that amazon does not want you to have in your listing so be careful of those things we do support you a little bit so well 
a lot actually. So we give you the trademark search tool right here in the AI listing creator. So for example, if we're trying to do this for the US marketplace, we select USPTO registered plus 25 word and then click on check trademarks. Now watch this guys. It says Anos, so we should not be using this one. Um, the life, complete, perfect, fiestas, fiesta, poncho, piñata, mayo. So all these things are trademarked, but I think you can use them purely because they are normal words, right? So if it was something like Disney or something like that, obviously we shouldn't use them. Uh, but these are fine to use. I don't think there's any issue with them whatsoever. And once you're happy, you just copy your title, brand, bullets and description into your listing and start listing guys. That's how easy it is. And what's amazing is that you can actually save this listing if you want. So let's click on save listing, right? If you want to come back to it, it's there in saved listing. You want to come back to it, just click on edit or you can delete it altogether, right? So you don't have to keep going back and forth or go back to your old Amazon listings and then try and get them from there. So you can actually save the listings uh, as a user on Merch Dominator, which is really, really good. You've got the title, brand, bullets, and description and everything. You can edit or delete. And you've got your saved prompts right here as well. You can create your prompts and you can delete your prompts from here. Obviously, the more prompts you have, the more you're able to see. And if you don't have any prompts, we do supply a default prompt that you can get some kind of inspiration from. But at the moment, I've added my own prompt. So that's the one I am using. And it's the one that's actually working for me. If the AI gives you some kind of output like gift or size or or something like that just delete it don't use it or simply regenerate you've got the option to regenerate however many times right just keep playing with it until you're happy but trust me guys from my experience with this ai tool i don't have to regenerate a second time i'm telling you it's just my experience i literally i fall in love with the first output and i just copy it paste it done if it gives me something like size or gift or something like that i just remove it replace it that easy stuff like that you know it's light work anyone can do it right and guys what's a amazing is that all of this stuff is included in the premium subscription of Merch Dominator, which is currently very cheap. You have 50% discount at the moment. Just use the coupon code 50 off over here. And instead of 49, you'll pay 2450. And if you choose to go for the annual option, you'll pay instead of 490, you'll pay 245. And that works out around $20 per month. If you divide 245 by 12 months, because we do give you an extra two months off on top of the 50% off guys. It's a no brainer. If you value your time, you know that it is the right tool to use. And what's amazing guys is that only Merch Dominator has this feature right now. No one else has it. And there are loads and loads of other features coming in the pipeline. Guys, Merch Dominator will dominate. I'm telling you guys. If you guys are interested in getting amazing tips from really, really good people, then check out our community. Discord community down below in the description. The best community in the world right now. Merch Dominator community we have so many people that want to help each other people that you can collaborate with people that you can work with as a team etc all down below in the description and guys i talk the talk and i walk the walk you know that account that i showed you on youtube a few days ago it's doing well let me show you tier 10 no ads and it sold today 10 designs and the day before 15 designs it's already on 66 month today and 59 sales just this month guys when you know how to work when you have the knowledge Knowledge. knowledge is power. Everything else becomes easy. I didn't make millions of dollars with merch by Amazon just like that, right? Through experience. My main account that is selling five figures every single day is not a fluke, guys, right? It didn't just happen. I grinded on it. I hacked the system. I hacked how Amazon works, how merch by Amazon works, etc. The algorithm, the listing, everything how it's supposed to be. And I'm giving it to you guys on a golden plate. Just take it. That's all I'm saying. Guys, I'm showing you all this stuff literally live so you can see how it all falls into place. I'm not just saying this is how it works. I'm showing you how it works and I'm applying it on a brand new account. I just want you to do it as well. If you haven't got my course yet, then you're missing out a lot. You don't have to get the course. It's just going to take you a lot longer because you're going to have to figure it out yourself, etc, etc. But these kind of videos are what we use guys on a daily basis to win on Merch by Amazon. So if you want to join 
the community, feel free to do so. I'll leave you a link down below in the description. And if you guys need a Merch by Amazon account or you know someone who needs one, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. You'll get it within 24 hours of purchase. I'll also leave you below a crash course for Merch by Amazon along with 200 plus profitable print on demand niches, a link to check out my full ultimate Merch by Amazon course that's helped hundreds of people crush Merch by Amazon. And if you guys don't have time to do niche research, I'm going to leave you a link for my niche research service. And if you want to start a Merch by Amazon print on demand business, definitely check out this video that I'm going to leave you here. It will explain everything, the whole process. So like and subscribe, share, comment, turn on the notifications and I'll see you in the next video.